What you guys got another video on fix can't play games on windows 10 if you've got windows 10 and you're looking to play battlefield 6 or other types of games like this on your windows 10 machine then this video is for you you could use this also on windows 11 as well but we're concentrating on windows 10 today now modern day games have certain system requirements and we're going to go through some of that here today so the first one that is really important is always check the system requirements page on that game and you'll see that under the additional notes here for battlefield 6 it needs tpm 2.0 and that needs to be enabled you also need to have uefi uh, enabled on your bios and secure boot needs to be enabled as well unfortunately some older systems might not be able to uh, reach these requirements and that means that you will not be able to play that game on your old system but i'm going to show you how you can quickly check your computer to make sure that all of these are enabled and they are actually a requirement for this particular game to be able to play it so the first thing you want to do is right click on the start button and go to uh, disk management inside disk management the first thing you're going to want to do on windows 10 is make sure on the disk drive that is your c drive windows drive you need to right click on that disk and go to properties mine is disk zero this is normally the default drive uh, letter that is used and you can see it says master boot record mbr you are not going to be able to play battlefield 6 with the master boot record set to mbr and the problem with that is you're going to need to convert this to gpt now you're also going to need to do secure boot now you can't convert to gpt this way i'll show you a way to do it without losing any data and i'll show you how you can go into the bios and make some changes there as well so you'll be able to play all your favorite games all modern games are normally needing this requirement nowadays so let's just go to system information and type system information here what you need to do here is check to see whether your computer is eligible to play this game so you'll see in this section right here bios mode it's set to legacy this will need to be set to UEFI. You can also see baseboard uh, manufacturer here. That is the motherboard name, ASUS. And we also have the product number, uh, base number, product number, which is Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi. So you can do a search on Google for that, and it will tell you whether your uh, motherboard is compatible with this game. So if you're rocking a pretty old computer, it's a good possibility that that PC might not accept some of these settings that we're going to change. So first off, what we're going to do is quickly check the web and we're going to type that out right here. I'm going to type UEFI right here and I'm going to quickly find a website where I can check uh, to see all of the details for this motherboard. Now this motherboard has already reached end of life but it's still perfectly fine and let me go through and take a look here you can see down the bottom it does say we do have uefi bios supported so that's what we're going to do we're going to boot into our bios and change some of these settings now if you don't have any of this on your pc uh, unfortunately you might not be able to play this game if you don't have tpm 2.0 and also secure boot enabled and things like that so first another thing you want to do is make sure if you have bitlocker enabled is to disable bitlocker this will take a bit of time to decrypt your drive because you will run into problems when you're going to be changing some of these settings that we're going to be doing in this video so it's important that you turn off bitlocker if you have it enabled just go and turn it off and basically you can re-enable it once you've done all of these settings so once you have BitLocker turned off and decrypted your drive, you can then open up command prompt type CMD, and this will open up the command prompt window as administrator. Uh, from here, we're gonna run some commands because we're gonna be converting our drive uh, from uh, MBR to GPT because that is one of the requirements to play this game. So let's go ahead and do MBR to GPT, space forward slash validate, and then space forward slash allow and we want to do full OS, just like so, and then press enter. And what this is going to do is run a scan on your system, and it will tell you uh, some information. So let me just go ahead and push enter, and you can see it's attempting to validate our disk zero. Because we never told it what disk to do, it's going to think you're going to be using disk zero as your default disk. You can tell it what disk drive you want to scan by adding the disk into that command and i'll quickly show you that just in case 
you're on a different uh, disk than disk zero. So first off, you can see validation completed successfully, and uh, we're all ready uh, to run our command. But let me just quickly uh, show you the actual disk command here. So in case you want to change the disk number to a different number. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to put this command in, and this will be able to designate what type of disk that you want to scan. For instance, you can now see that we have, in after validate, we have space forward slash disk colon zero, but if yours was disk five or disk two, you would put that number in there and then do the same test, and it will test that particular disk. I already know mine is disk zero, so I'm gonna be using the disk zero uh, command here. The next step, once we validated is we're going to now use the command to convert from MBR to GPT. So we're just going to use the up arrow keys on the cursor keys on the keyboard, and we're going to push the up key and it will bring up the previous command. We're going to change validate here to convert just like so. You can type it all out again if you wish. Once you've done this, we now be able to push enter. So let me just get rid of that extra S and then press enter. And this is now going to convert disk zero from MBR to GPT. You can see it's attempting to convert disk zero. It's retrieving the layout of the disk, and it's going to try and uh, convert this all for us. And you can see it's now uh, doing all the information right here. It does say down the bottom here, before the new system can boot properly, you need to switch the firmware to boot to UEFI mode. So if you're using legacy, like I said at the beginning, you're going to need to now boot into the BIOS and change it to boot to UEFI rather than legacy. If your motherboard doesn't support that, then you're not going to be able to do this and you will be wasting your time, like I said at the beginning of the video. You're not going to be able to play games like this. You can only do this on motherboards that are supported for secure boot, uh, UEFI and TPM 2.0. If your motherboard doesn't support any of these features, then obviously your PC is too old and you're not going to be able to play these games. Now what we're going to do is boot into our BIOS. You can either use this command right here, shut down space forward slash R, uh, space forward slash FW. Now some machines do not support this. You won't be able to do this command if you're using a legacy mode. It won't work. You can also go into... Uh, your Windows settings right here, update and security. If you're on Windows 10, go to the recovery page and restart now into advanced startup if you want to do that. Also, you can tap the key, whether it be F2 or the delete key or whatever it is to get into your BIOS. And once you get into your BIOS, you're going to be able to make these changes in our BIOS. So here we are in our BIOS. You can see this is a pretty modern BIOS. So I'm going to go to advanced mode right here. Let me just move the camera over so you can see it. We're going to go into advanced mode. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go up uh, to where it says boot, because this is where we need to change some of the boot settings. So inside boot, uh, you'll see that we do have right here, coming down, we have CSM. CSM is enabled, and we need to turn that feature off because these are legacy only. You can see it's set to legacy only. I'm going to turn this feature off and disable it, and this will also help us force uh, the UEFI mode on our system. Now, your motherboard might be slightly different, so you'll just need to do a bit of checking, but you can see already Secure Boot is turned off on this system, so we're going to enable Windows UEFI mode, and we're going to leave it as standard right here, and we're going to move on now to the TPM 2.0 and make sure that is enabled as well. So we're going to go back into the main menu here, and from here, we're going to go up until advanced. Inside advanced, you should see something to do with TPM uh, configuration right here. And we're going to click here. And you can see mine has already been enabled. Enabled firmware TPM. And I'm going to leave that enabled. And we also want to leave this as it is. So once we've done that, we can save our settings. So save changes and then start your PC up. If you've done everything OK, the PC will boot. If you set something wrong, you're going to get a blue screen and it's not going to boot. So you only need to go back into the BIOS and tweak a few settings in there to make it boot up. Once you're done, you should be back at the desktop and you should have all the settings and the requirements to play that game properly. If you haven't set it up right or your system doesn't support some of these settings, you're not going to be able to play modern day games like these. 
A lot of games are starting to use these uh, sort of settings and technology. And if your PC is really old, then it may be time to upgrade your PC. You can already see on the drive, we've now converted this to GPT. So that's one setting that we've got set up. We've got TPM 2.0 set up, and we've also uh, got uh, the actual secure boot enabled. So now we should be able to play a games like Battlefield 6 as well. I'm just going to quickly go into system information and to show you that we've moved out of legacy mode now and we're in uh, the UEFI mode, and that is basically the mode we're in. So now we've reached all of the correct criteria to play those modern day games like Battlefield 6 and other games that need that requirement to be able to play it. So if you're in an old system and you are trying to play games like this and it just won't play, this might be the solution for you. And if you're on an old computer, technology waits for no man. We move forward with advancements in technology. And unfortunately, uh, some modern day software and games are going to have some of these requirements in them and you're not going to be able to use them. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.